Hi, in this video, I'll give you a brief introduction about hypothesis testing. What is hypothesis testing and which are the areas where it is used? So basically, hypothesis testing has an important role in the application of statistics to real life problems. Here, we utilize the sample data, which is the data collected using different sampling methods to make decisions concerning the unknown distribution of a population or its parameters. Now, by parameters, I mean the population mean, population variance, etc. Let me give you an example. Suppose an automobile engineer has to decide on the basis of sample data whether the true average lifetime of a certain kind of tire is at least 70,000 kilometers. Or if we have an agronomist who has to decide on the basis of experiments whether one kind of fertilizer produces a higher yield of cabbages than another. Or if there is a manufacturer of pharmaceutical products who has to decide on the basis of samples whether 90% of all patients given a new medication will recover from a certain disease. How will he find that out? So all these problems can be translated into the language of statistical tests of hypothesis. Now, instead of testing every item in the lot, the automobile engineer or the agronomist or the pharmaceutical product manufacturer may test only a few items chosen at random from the lot and then make decisions about the population parameters like the average lifetime of a tire or the average yield of cabbages produced by fertilizer 1 and fertilizer 2 or the probability of recovery of patients using the given medication. So here what we are doing is we are making decisions about the population on the basis of sample information. So these kind of decisions are called as statistical decisions. Now in attempting to reach these decisions, it is useful to make some initial conjectures about the population involved. Such conjectures are called statistical hypothesis. So statistical hypothesis is an assertion or a conjecture about the population or the probability distribution characterizing the population. Now sometimes the results from the sample may be remarkably different from those expected under the hypothesis. In that case, we can say that the observed differences are significant and we would obviously be inclined to reject the initial hypothesis or whatever was our initial claim. So such procedures that enable us to decide whether to accept or to reject hypothesis or to determine whether observed samples differ significantly from expected results are called tests of hypothesis, tests of significance or hypothesis testing. So in this video, I gave you a brief introduction about hypothesis testing. In our next video, we learn how to form different hypotheses what are the different types of hypothesis and what are the conditions under which we reject or accept a hypothesis. Thank you.